Okay, I'm just going to make this quick video. I had a someone send me a question this morning. And the question they had was not... This is the design I did in my last video, or started on. Um, the question they had was... They want to make cuts like this. This is the sample picture they sent me. And they wanted to know how to make cuts like this that are closed paths and not open paths so that's pretty simple I'm going to use this design for an example because it's you know pretty simple to do but in order to make closed paths like that rather than open line cuts you would just use your bezier tool that I used the other day starting on this design you draw your you know desired contour in like say this line here I want to add this you know and if you can manipulate like in this example they sent me you know some of these are straight some of them are curved so you know you can use your node editor and you can curve these lines that you're making with the bezier or whatever you want to do make whatever shape you want when you're finished making the shape you want, highlighting the feature, you would then come to your fill and stroke menu, go to your stroke style here. I set mine to inches, and then you're going to want to change the size of the stroke. Normally, Inkscape strokes default is like ten thousandths. For a closed path cut, I usually shoot for at least 80 to a hundred thousandths minimum and that's kind of pushing it you know you may or may not get a lead in to squeeze in there but let's say I put a hundred thousandths that will change the size of that stroke to a hundred thousandths wide all the way across there then typically I will use this here round cap to round the ends off instead of just having those squared off ends which the squared off ends are your default so if you select this that'll round the ends once you have it the thickness you want and the shape you want then you're just going to go to path stroke to path and that's now going to convert that into a closed contour instead of an open line so you know like in this scenario maybe on this vehicle I'm doing this particular line I'm highlighting here is kind of like a molded piece you know kind of protrudes out so maybe I want that to be a little thicker than just an open line so if I select that that stroke that I put there I can do the same thing I can change that from ten thousands to you know like say a hundred thousands and a hundred thousands usually with fine cuts on 16 gauge if the cuts long enough it'll squeeze a lead in in there any smaller than that it may not fit the lead in which it'll still cut it just won't have room for a lead in but a hundred thousands hit enter round the ends off and then now I would have a closed path that would cut there once I go path stroke to path now if I hit note editor you can see those are closed paths instead of open lines Anyway, that was just a question that I had asked of me this morning, so I thought I'd answer that in a quick video. It was in reference to this design here. They wanted to make closed paths instead of open lines, so hopefully that helps some people out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.